Look at these guys in masks. Can you tell which one isn't human? It's the one on the left. Look closely, and you'll see that the skin around its eyes is green. Alice, Beth, Cece, and Diana are standing in line to get a new video game. Alice is standing between Beth and Cece. Cece is in front of two people, and Diana is in front of her. Can you say in which order the girls stand? There are four of them. If Cece is standing in front of two people, and Diana is in front of her, then Diana is the first one, and Cece is the second one. Then, Alice is standing between Beth and Cece. So, the third person is Alice, and the last one is Beth. There are ten students in class. Six of them learn French, and seven people learn Spanish. If every student learns at least one foreign language, how many students learn both French and Spanish? Six plus seven is 13. And since there are just 10 students, the additional three are the ones that learn both languages. A police officer was following a robber around the city. Suddenly, the criminal rushed toward a hospital and disappeared. When the police officer entered the building, she saw three people. One of them must be the robber, who had dressed up to pretend to be a doctor. Can you tell who the criminal is? It's the girl on the left. Look at her shoes. They're dirty. She didn't have time to clean or change them. Taya was getting ready for a job interview when the lights went off. She was in a rush and didn't have time to wait till the lights were back on. The girl was almost ready. She only needed to put on her socks and boots. Taya had socks of three different colors, black, white, and gray. She didn't care what color her socks would be, but she needed two socks of the same color. How many socks should Taya take to make sure there will be at least one matching pair? She just needs four. Even if the first three are of different colors, the fourth one will either be black, white, or brown, matching one of the others. Devin takes a bath only on even days of the month. How many times a year does he take a bath? Well, let's see. Except for February, all months have 30 or 31 days. In a month, there are 15 even days. So, it's 15 multiplied by 11. In February, there are 28 or 29 days, which means 14 even days in any case. So, we add 14. In total, Devin takes a bath 179 times a year. It's an early Monday morning. William and Daniel are both driving to work. But who is doing something wrong? Daniel. Look, he's driving way above the speed limit. Cassie and Fawn are also driving above the speed limit because they're in a hurry. Cassie is late for her interview, and Fawn is rushing to a hospital. Who's breaking more rules? Fawn. They're both driving way above the speed limit, but Fawn isn't wearing her seatbelt. Caspian and Delaney are getting ready for a summer barbecue party. It's Delaney's birthday. Caspian is cooking, and Delaney is busy with the decorations. Who is not very smart? Caspian. He's left the meat in the sun, and it's slowly going bad while he's cooking. Everly and Bridget are sisters, and they're both going out on a date tonight. 
They both play tennis, so they told their parents that they were going to practice. Who's worse at lying? Bridget. Both are dressed too fancy for the training, but at least Everly has a backpack and her equipment with her. Her parents will probably think she'll change later. Bridget doesn't even have her tennis racket with her. Nellie and Genesis are cleaning windows in their house. They're both in a pretty dangerous position now, hanging out of the windows. But who's in greater danger? Genesis. She's cleaning the window on a higher floor. Easton didn't let his daughter go to her friend's birthday party. He told her to do her homework instead. Karina's daughter had to spend all day in her bedroom too, instead of going to the movies. The teenagers came down to dinner at 7 o'clock. Whose daughter had snuck out of the house? Easton's. It's raining, and his daughter's hair is wet. She must have been outside. Esme was having a walk in the forest and got lost. She tried to find her way back, but instead, she stumbled across a witch's house. She patted a black cat and asked the witch to take her back home. The witch was busy with some math, and she had a riddle for Esme. If she solved it, she'd be free to go. If not, Esme would have to stay with the witch forever and do math with her. Using only pluses and minuses, Esme had to make this equation correct. Can you help her? Esme only needs four minuses. She should put them right there. In a parallel universe, people are only allowed to have fun and eat candies. No one ever reads or studies there. Mrs. Rellum comes back home after a long day at a club. Her three daughters have spent the whole day at home. The woman asks them what they've been doing. Hannah answers she's been playing computer games all day long. Ellie says she's spent the day outside with her friends, playing in the park. Ava claims she's been in bed all day, doing nothing and eating cake. Still, Mrs. Rellum can tell that one of her daughters is lying. That daughter actually spent the whole day studying. Who is it? It's Hannah. Take a closer look at her desk. There's an open book and a copy book. If she was playing computer games, they wouldn't be there. Emmeline was at her chemistry exam, trying to get an A. Unfortunately, the professor gave her a task that she couldn't solve. Then the professor asked her to crack a riddle to see if she could think fast. I have three daughters. Rain is now twice as old as Phoenix will be when Calliope is as old as Rain is now. Who is my oldest daughter and who is the youngest? Can you help Emmeline crack this riddle? Rain is older than Phoenix and Calliope, because in the future, Calliope will be the same age and Phoenix will be half as old. So, obviously, Calliope is the middle sister and Phoenix is the youngest. Four friends were driving to a neighboring city. The driver got distracted and got into a car crash. A police officer arrived and started an investigation. He asked who was driving, but no one wanted to take the blame. Then the officer inspected the car. Can you tell who was driving? The driver was the blonde girl. Look, there's a sweater on the driver's seat. She's the only one not wearing a jacket or a sweater, so it must belong to her. Let's test how attentive you are. Here's a ball and three cups. I'll put the ball here in the middle cup. Your task is to watch the ball and then tell me where it is. Ready? Go! So, where's the ball?
Look, it's in here. Did you get it? Okay, let's try once again. Now I have four cups, and I'll be moving faster. I'm putting the ball right here. Watch it closely. So, where do you think the ball is? It's in this cup. Now let's make it extra hard and check if you can still get it. Five cups, even faster than before. Ready? Here we go. So, now where's the ball? Yeah, it's right here. If you got it right, you have my absolute respect. Mrs. Lawrence has four children. Three of them are daughters, Kennedy, Aurora, and Serenity. And one is her son, Everett. They are 13, 16, 20, and 21. Guess how old each of them is if the youngest child is a girl. Kennedy is older than Everett, and the sum of the ages of Kennedy and Aurora can be divided by three. There are just two pairs of numbers that can be divided by three, 13 and 20, and 16 and 20. Since Kennedy is older than Everett, he can't be the oldest child. So the oldest one is Serenity. Since the youngest one is a girl, and it can't be Kennedy, then the youngest one is Aurora. She must be 13. In this case, Kennedy is 20 years old, and Everett is 16. Mrs. Lewis came home after work and noticed that one of her daughters had made a sandwich, but hadn't cleaned up afterward. The woman went upstairs and saw that all three of her daughters were doing their homework. Abby, Ruby, and Nicole denied making a mess. Still, Mrs. Lewis knew who was guilty. How about you? Look at the kitchen attentively. There's some butter on the right side of the knife which means that the person who made the sandwich was left-handed. Mrs. Lewis only has one left-handed daughter, and that's Nicole. Six siblings, Ingram, Regala, Corona, Agnard, Ardumo, and Modnor, founded a magical school. A pair of siblings founded each house of this school, Rymeth, Madlow, and Demora. One, each house was founded by a brother and a sister. Two, Corona and Regala founded Rymeth and Madlow, but not necessarily in this order. 3. Ingram and Ardumo founded Madlow and Demora, but not necessarily in this order. 4. Agnard and Regala founded the same house. Who founded each house? Okay, let's look at conditions two and three. Each of them mentions Madlow. Corona and Regala are sisters. This means that no matter which of them founded Madlow, this house already has the sister founder. It means that Madlow had to be founded by Ardumo. In this case, Ingram founded Demora. Agnar founded the house with Regala. So it must be Modnor who founded Demora with Ingram. It leaves us with Rymeth founded by Agnard and Regala, while Corona and Arduno founded Madlow. Uh, gotta love these names. <laughs>